that I address you on the occasion of my swearing in ceremony as a new deputy governor of the United States. The constitutional imperative of which called for my nomination as a deputy governor and subsequently approval by the Carolina State House of Assembly came as a result of the unfortunate demise of our late governor, St. Patrick Ibrahim Yakuba. I pray that the Almighty God will grant him eternal rest and the fortune for all of us to bear the impact of loss. Amen. He was a man of honor, integrity, and a great builder. Therefore, if we are going to do justice to the temple, we should emulate those standing qualities, especially the strong points of building bridges of friendship and cooperation across ethnic, religious divide. Let me use this opportunity to thank the Executive Governor of the Lunar State, Alhaji Mokhtar Manan Yero, for deeming it fit to nominate me to serve as his deputy. I intend to reciprocate the confidence reposed in me through the promotion of a harmonious working relationship based on mutual cooperation. I believe that this shall be the greater benefit of our people and the state in general. I also thank the Kaduna State House of Assembly for appending their constitutional signature of approval to my choice. I am not mindful of the numerous responsibilities that they are having. Neither am I unaware of the challenges of rising expectations amongst our people, especially the East and the West. Let me say that I appreciate the series of views expressed by the various strata of our society and interest groups in the course of filing a filling the vacuum that was created in the office that I have now been called upon to occupy. I see this as a positive development which will serve to enrich our democratic cultures and ideals. And so, rather than diminish my enthusiasm for service to our people, it has awakened me to the enormity, the enormity of the challenges ahead of us. And the need to give in my best so that the testimonial of our dispensation would be written in letters of gold at the end of our journey. I appeal to our people to exercise patience, bearing in mind that the imperative of invoking the provisions of our constitution, which arose as a result of the circumstances in which we find ourselves in community, demands no less. Let us show bitterness and promote issues that unite rather than divide us. The spirit challenges that steer us in the face, coupled with the sad occurrence with which we are struggling to come out from, demands patience, sacrifice, and tolerance. Once more, I pledge my own unloyal loyalty to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as well as to the government and people of Kaduna State.